and welcome to learn system view in five minutes. This is tutorial 17 and in this tutorial we'll talk about performing RF budget analysis in system view. So we will start from where we left in the last tutorial and last tutorial we learned about basics of how to set up a very system, a very simple RF uh, transmitted test bench, uh, set up an RF simulator, run a simulation and plot the spectrum. Now again, um, if you recall my earlier videos, I talked about you know some design, um, you know, discipline, and that means uh, renaming things as we go along. So here, let me um, rename this to output spectrum, um, because otherwise, if you have multiple you know graphs with not a proper name defined, then you make your life uh, confusing by looking at which data uh, is available where. Now, in order to activate the RF uh, budget, uh, we can double click on our uh, simulator. And as we talked about in the introductory video, we can go to path and now we can define the path here. So notice we would like to uh, start our analysis starting from this source and we would like to follow this path here reaching to this port. By clicking on this add button, uh, system view tries its best to recognize your start and stop point and rightly so in this case it picked up the right source and destination if you're doing only one tone analysis we don't need to define the channel frequency but in case you are feeding multiple frequency content as I put uh, the budget calculations might differ from frequency to frequency and that's when you need to declare what is your calculation frequency right now we are safe because we are only one, only using one cw now we can define uh, what all budget calculations you would like to do for example if you are looking to do intermod along a certain this path you can activate intermod define the interfering frequency so that um, you know proper intermod products can be calculated if you are looking at power voltage and impedances then you can define uh, you know according according to that um, you know and do the setting up of the of the measurements if you are worried about Edison channel effects uh, you can define your channel uh, you know conditions you can define the offset of those channels and it will allow system view to do corresponding measurements but right now for this tutorial i'm keeping it very simple i'm just primarily looking at the basic uh, parameters for the budget now once we define the path we click ok you can see there's another one path added here now for some reason if you want to add another path for example starting from LO, going through this mixer and arriving here to take care of LO leakage calculations you can define a new path or in case you want LO to be doing going towards the source you can define that as another path so you can go ahead and define as many paths as you would like in your calculation so once we are done with that we could go ahead and run simulation once we run simulation and the budget um, calculation is activated notice in the tree you have a new folder here called system one data folder system one is the name of the simulator under this data folder this is a new data set and this data set contains all the budget calculation which system view has done automatically for you this set, data set here represents only uh, the spectral calculations which we have done so take note of these two different data sets now if we double click on that data set we can open up and these are all the budget calculation which system view has done for you so if you click on any of those budget measurements it describes what is that measurement doing and you can see the nodes and the corresponding output at that particular node but in real life it's too difficult for us to remember what is this node and you know where they fall in our system so by picking up any of these parameters for example let's look for cascaded gain c gain we can right click add to a graph and we can add a new graph for that now looking at this graph y-axis is your measurement and if you notice x-axis you can see the node names as well as the component symbol exactly telling you at which node you are looking at the output now here we can see with this amplifier our gain increases by 20 db at the output of this mixer our effective gain drops by certain amount this filter drops certain amount and these two amplification 
stages gives the, the corresponding gain. So our overall system gain, if we just put a marker there, is around 50 dB right now. So that's our transmitter gain. Now similarly, so this is one way of plotting data. So let's go ahead and rearrange uh, our data or windows here. Now another way to plot this data at any point, for example, if I'm looking at the budget calculation here, if you right click, remember last time there were only these three, four options. Now you can see the top budget measurements uh, you know, also available here. So if you're looking at to plot the cascaded noise figure, we can just simply click on that and we will have a cascaded noise figure plot. And let's rearrange. Now in some cases, if you notice, um, you know, this parameter or this component has having much more loss or not having the desired gain. And if you want to change the, the property of this block, we can simply double click on that component in the graph itself and it opens up the property sheet of that block. And now we can go ahead and define it to be a 30 dB gain, for example. Now, in order to show you difference, I'm going to very, you know, freeze this graph and we can do so by checkpointing it to a graph. And now once I made this change of 30 dB, we can go ahead and read on this simulation and notice the corresponding change due to the change in the gain of that component. Isn't that very easy to perform very complex budget analysis in system view just by a few clicks. So hopefully you enjoyed watching this video and you will watch the next tutorial videos coming along in this series. Thanks a lot for your time.